First we create a script for the camera. So shorten that to cam. Then we need mouse. Here it is. Get the input. Check if the event is a mouse event. Event mouse. Then we get the position. Set it to be the mouse. Then we check again if the event is a mouse button. And event pressed. We say if event mouse button index left if it's a left mouse button then we get selection so we're going to create that function okay now we say world space date we say get world get direct space date world space i mean then we get the start point for the array cars and that's where the mouse is on the screen remember we're extending the camera so we're getting these functions directly from the camera if you have the camera somewhere else you need to make a reference then the endpoint project the break position the direct where you want it to go so it's from where the mouse is again all the way down to Z that's the end point now we say we need a result so from the world space we create an intersectory from the start point to the end point now we can print result let's save and run that and now like you check down here if I click on something get a collider static body and stuff like that so one thing I want to note so this, this first one I named it the collider cube it's right here so it starts with a, a static body is the main node for that cube so that's what the recast interacts with so for example I have cube 2 here and this is this cube so when I click on it it returns this static body and then I have the sphere here does the same thing it returns a sphere word if you click on it there it is down here we, oh, I'm not in the game let me get back up here if I click on it collider sphere it's the name and then it shows you the type of collision the ID normal and position yeah so let's do something else so if i want uh, on the sphere i have a script that says die so we're just gonna call this from the collision so let's go back in the camera and right below this we go if result meaning if the result is valid and result collider has method die that's the die in the sphere then we just call it on the color so we set it to die so now let's run it again if you click it it removes itself and that should be it all right guys thanks for watching it's a quick one take care